I'm Catherine Caruana McManus from Meshed. The, the company was formed uh, for a single purpose, and that was to provide uh, affordable but secure uh, LoRaWAN IoT data networks focused on the city's infrastructure and environmental sectors. And there was an opportunity in the market to provide a different model uh, as opposed to the model of IoT delivered by the major telcos. Look, it, for me, it's, it, it's really simple. It's about getting information about the things that matter to the customer so that they can provide a better service to the community, the citizen or the industry they serve. There's the ecosystem of those parties providing the essential uh, capability so that it works for the customer. So that's devices, networks, applications, and then that's feeding into obviously data insights. So there's that whole sort of, I would call that the, the kind of the enablers, the technology ecosystem. But in the world of smart cities and infrastructure, um, there is the ecosystem around decision makers, policy leaders, um, and the constituents. So what we did was when we first started, we were deploying um, you know, large deployments and that was fine, but that relied on obviously the market being mature to go to market for those large deployments. Um, so, you know, we had this idea, what if we could actually just create a smart city starter kit and put the smart city in a box? And that's what we did. And uh, we now have nearly 60 cities. So MESHT um, has been helping uh, communities and cities um, and governments with understanding the impact, the social mobility and economic impacts of COVID-19 onto communities. And we are using pedestrian flow or pedestrian counting information that's been generated off the MESHT Encounter people counting solution, uh, which we have distributed across multiple cities um, with over 100, um, you know, uh, locations that we've selected to, to do the study. And we're doing a, a time series analysis on um, what, does, what did a normal pattern look like pre-COVID uh, and then uh, during COVID and now sort of uh, post-COVID.